Hi everyone, this is Vishal from Reckon Academy. In our last video, we had studied about the importance of trend line and how does it actually help us to spot major breakouts and breakdowns in the market. Today, we'll extend that last video and we'll concentrate on the logarithmic charts and the arithmetic charts and what is the connection between these charts in the trend line. Well, uh, we can see over here that this particular is the y-axis of the chart, uh, which shows the price of the chart. This is the nifty chart of the weekly time frame. And this on the horizontal side is the x-axis. On the x-axis, we have the dates. And uh, on the y-axis, we have the price. Well, uh, what is an arithmetic chart? An arithmetic chart is the, the change in the price is a... Uh, change in terms of unit like you can see from distance from 500 to 1000 is almost equal to 1000 to 1500 now space between 2000 to 2500 is almost equivalent to 4500 to 5000 but if i've changed this particular chart to a logarithmic chart what happens is things absolutely change now 1000 to 2000 is not equivalent to 2000 to 3000 why the reason is in logarithmic charts uh, the distance the unit change is not important but the percentage is more important like we can see over here from 4000 to 8000 the space incurred is almost the same in 1000 is to 2000 why because it resembles doubling in price we can see almost the space is equal you can see that the space is equal now we will discuss why is it necessary to use logarithmic charts while drawing trend lines in the higher time frames now this is the nifty chart i will just draw a 13 year old trend line which actually gave support to the market recently when 7900 bottom was formed in the market you can see market has almost it, it may have not touched exactly but uh, the uh, market has taken support from this particular trend line now it is looking pretty decent if i just change this chart from a logarithmic chart to a arithmetic chart the entire trend line changes the entire the look of the chart changes so what i'm trying to tell over here is whenever we are drawing trend lines on higher time frames it is very important that we convert our charts from arithmetic charts to logarithmic charts in the normal study when you are not using a trend line it is not necessary to concentrate on logarithmic charts we can stick to arithmetic charts but while drawing a trend line in higher time frames like the weekly and monthly time frame always and always use a logarithmic charts that's all for right now trade well